Good morning students. Today's class we will see about the topic nursing today. Definition of nursing, philosophy, principles, objectives, aims of aim of nursing, characteristic and elements of nursing. I'm I'm quite sure you all have been selected this profession nursing. It may be because your will and wish to become a nurse or a force from your parents or from someone else. But at least you have chosen this profession. So now it's time to study well and come out in flying colors. So in the beginning, it may be quite difficult to cope up with all the situations, the new subject, new teachers, new college, new friends. But the time will heal all your concerns and you will come out in flying colors. So here are the some tips which, which will help you in the beginning of the nursing. So we'll see what's about nursing. Nursing is an arts, art and science. As the science, nursing practice is based on the body of knowledge that is continually changing with the new discoveries and innovations. When we integrate the science and art of nursing into our practice, the quality of care we provide to our patients is at level of excellence that benefits patients and their families. So, as a science, the nursing is not a stagnant profession. It is ever changing with changes which occurs in the associate disciplines like medicine, pharmacy, physiotherapy, etc. So, our opportunities for nursing career paths including clinical practice, education, research, management and administration. As a student, it is important for you to understand the scope of nursing and practice and how nursing influences the lives of your patients. The word nurse originates from a Latin word natrix, which means to nourish. The nurse is defined as a person who nourishes, fosters, protects and who prepares to take care of the sick, injured and aged people. With expanding role and functions of the nurse in today's society, however, anyone, the definition is too limited to define the nursing. So, here is the definition by Virginia Henderson. This is the one of the famous definition of nursing. That is, nursing is a unique function of the nurse that is to assist the individual, sick or well, in the performance of those activities contributing to health or recovery or to a peaceful death that he or she would perform unaided if he or she had necessary strength, will or knowledge and to do so in such a way as to help him or her to gain independence as rapidly as possible. I know it is a quite long definition but it is one of the main, means main definitions given by Virginia Henderson. She defined this term nursing. So one of the second definition by American Nurse Association in short we call it as ANA defines nursing is a protection promotion and optimization of health and abilities, prevention of illness and injury, alleviation of suffering through the diagnosis and treatment of human response, and advocacy in care of individuals, families, communities and populations. Then the third definition by International Council of Nurses, in short we call it as ICN, the nursing encompasses autonomous and collaborative care of individuals of all ages families, groups and communities, sick or well, in all settings. That means nursing includes the promotion of health, prevention of illness and care of the ill, disabled and dying person. Advocacy, promotion of a safe environment in shaping the health policy and in patient and health system management and education are the key nursing roles. So from these definitions, it's quite sure that nursing is the one which not only practice in the hospital, which comes in the community, and nursing is not only caring for the sick. So we have our, our first toll comes in the prevention of the illness. Then only if we cannot able to prevent, then the patient becomes sick and we have to take care of them. From these definitions, the support, the prominence and importance that nursing holds providing safe, patient-centered healthcare to the global community. So, there is a acronym that is N for noble, U for understanding, R for responsible, 
S for sincere, E for empathetic. So next we term is the philosophy. Philosophy in detail we you will study in the fourth year as a part of nursing education. Here I am just giving you a few explanations about philosophy. Philosophies originated from two words that is philo and sophia. Philo means wisdom and sophia means law. So it is love of the wisdom. So study of fundamental nature of knowledge, reality and existence especially when considered as an academic discipline. It is the meaning of philosophy. A theory or an attitude that acts as a guiding principle for a behavior. So philosophy of nursing. Nursing is viewed as both an art and science as we have seen in the early. So it is reflecting upon the concepts of nursing. Nursing is an applied discipline which expresses itself in practice and has foundations rooted on scientific empirical knowledge theory and research. We are doing our procedures or the steps in the nursing, not just that we learned from the earlier generation, but it based on the scientific fact, empirical knowledge and part of theory and researches. Nursing is also expressed as a caring, therapeutic and a teaching discipline. The goal of nursing is optimum client wellness and maximum level of functioning of the patient. The nursing interventions are evidence based and stem on their core knowledge. We are not doing our activities on nursing intervention just to alleviate the pain but it is based on the scientific fact how this pain formed and how we can alleviate the pain. The professional nurse must appreciate the role of informatics. Informatics means the new informations and new developments which comes in the other fields. Philosophy of nursing it states our thoughts on what we believe to be true about the nature of profession of nursing and provide the basis for nursing activities. It endorses the ethical values we hold as the basis and basis of our belief in the theory. The International Council of Nurses states that the unique function of the nurse is to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health or its recovery or to a peaceful death that he would perform unaided if he had necessary strength, will or knowledge. And to, to do so, this is way to help him to gain independence as rapidly as possible. This is the definitions given by Virginia Henderson and International Council of Nurses. They state that it is the, as a philosophy of the nursing. ICN states the philosophy of the nursing as follows. First, we work as a collaborative team continuously improve the health and well-being of ourselves and community. That means, nurse, we are, as a nurse, we are not working independently. We work with other team members like the doctors, the pharmacists, the physiotherapists and other people who, the microbiologists, the lab technicians, all people who comes in the care of the patient. We accept and respect our patient's unique view of self and the world. Each person is different from one another. So each person, even though they have the same disease, the pain they experience from one person to another person may be different. So we accept and respect our patient's unique view of self. Then we believe in the involvement of professional nurse in shared governance and we incorporate research and evidence-based practice the development of standards of care. Next, we are responsible for lifelong learning, accountability for the practice and participation in interdisciplinary activities. That means, the nursing, once we finish our course, we start our practice, we should first stop our learning because medicine is the area where there is tremendous changes which occurs day by day. So, we have to be the we have to be aware of the knowledge which happens in the changes which happens in our area and also accountability. Whatever we do to the patients, we have to accountable. We are responsible for our actions. Indian Nursing Council believes that the concept of nurse health led by WHO. WHO means World Health Organization, that is, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well being and not merely the absence of any disease or infirmity. The Council recognized program of study providing broad and sound foundation in behavioral life and nursing science for the general practice of nursing, for a leadership role, and for a post basic education specialties for advanced nursing practice. 
The council believes that the basic course in nursing should prepare the nurses for occupying the first level positions in nursing in all kind of healthcare settings. The basic level basic course in nursing which include in our country it is a general nursing course of three and a half years and basic nursing course of four years course. The council recognized that nurse is a nursing is a profession that influenced by advances in science and technology. It believes that the skills in all aspects of communication are also essential for learning and practice of nursing. The council also recognized that nature of nursing such as that substantial portion of learning of the students is acquired in the clinical field of practice. That means the nursing involves not only the theory, the theory which they learn in the classroom, but it has to be substituted by the clinical nursing practice. They have whatever they learn in the, the classrooms, in the laboratory, they have the few have, they should have the opportunity to practice in the clinicals. It further recognizes the interdependence of nursing in our allied professions and occupations in promoting, maintaining and restoring health and prevention of disease. The council believes that it has a responsibility in helping the students to develop proud in the professional but besides keeping them abreast with the current knowledge and professional trends for a successful career ahead. Basic nursing principles. The first one is safety, therapeutic effectiveness, comfort, use of resources, good workmanship, individuality. These are the these six are the basic principles safety, which include both the patient safety as well as our safety, that means our Smith the nurse of safety, therapeutic effectiveness of the care, comfort which provide to the patient, use of resources, if we are whatever resources available, with that we have to give the comfort to the patient and good workmanship and individuality. We have to respect each person's individuality as the each person is different from one another. The objectives of nursing. Prepare the nurses who will give expert bedside care. Provide integration of health and social aspect of theory and practice. Provide adequate sound scientific foundation to understand the functioning of body, mind and health and disease. That means we, by, by learning anatomy and physiology, we know the functioning of the body and it is mind in that health and disease. Prepare to work cooperatively, develop sense of responsibility, provide opportunity to develop skills and personality, upgrade nursing as a profession. These are the objectives of nursing. Then concept of nursing. The task of nursing are first to promote health, second to prevent disease, third to help a person into healing, to assist a dying person to pass away with grief gratitude, peace and dignity and client is in holistic human being including suffering person and a healthy person the, the, to promote health by good by following good hygiene good nutrition vaccination we can means means we can promote health prevention of disease that also by keeping the vaccinations and also recognizing the signs and symptoms at the earliest we can prevent the help the ill person assist the dying person then working place is not only in the hospital but also family, community and world society. So nursing means that they should not be only in the hospital but it should be in the family, community and work society. Nursing is not only a science but also an art. The concept of the nursing attaches to the importance of human beings living environment and interrelation between human being and its environment. Nursing is a science, is a gradually perfect and developing science. These are the concepts of nursing. Next is the aim of nursing. Aim of nursing practice can be broadly described to promote, prevent, restore health, but not, but last, but not the least, positive coping disability or death. So first one is promoting health. Promotion of health is by as concerns the patient is a self-awareness, health awareness and use of resources while providing care through knowledge and skill. A nurse performs following to promote health that First, by facilitating a decision about enhancement of quality of life, engagement, acceptance of one's own health, then increasing health awareness by teaching certain behaviors and factors that can be prevent deterioration of health. For example, in case of cigarette smoking and alcohol, this all will harm the health. So we have to increase the health awareness. Then encourage health promotion by providing informations and referrals. 
the teaching self care activity to maximum achievement goal second is prevention of illness now prevent illness primarily by teaching which include educational program and community programs for promoting health habits like smoking cessation programs stress reduction seminars physical fitness program education literature television radio and internet third is restoring health steps involved are focusing on early, early detection of the disease promoting diagnostic measurements like this like promotion of annual health checkup to find out the disease at the earliest providing direct health care to the ill collaborating with other health care providers and fourth one is facilitating coping with disability and death altered function decreases individuals ability to carry out the activities of daily living and expected growth so the nurse can facilitate optimum level of function by maximizing the patient's strengths and potential through the teaching and referring both patient and the family nurse prepares the patient's family for death and living as comfortably as possible until death occurs the characteristic of nursing the characteristic of nursing includes nursing is caring nursing involves called close personal contact with the recipient of care or the patient nursing concerns service that take humans into account as a physiological psychological and sociological organism nursing is committed to promoting individuals families communities and national health goals in the best possible manner Nursing is committed to the personalized service for persons without regard to color, creed, social or economic status. Nursing is committed to the involvement in ethical, legal and political issues in the delivery of health care. Next is nature of nursing. The nature the nursing is caring, it's a science and art, it's holistic, it's adaptive, patient-centered. These are the nature of nursing. The elements in nursing. First, accountability. That means we have to be accountable or responsible for what whatever our action. Autonomy. Practitioners are relatively independent and control of their own policies. They are free to do our nursing care. The altruism. Practitioners are motivated by service and consider their work as an important component of their lives. The association is an organization that encourages support high standards of practitioners. These are the main elements of the nursing accountability autonomy altruism and association thank you for listening if you have any doubts any questions any queries please do respond this message okay thank you